Oh, we're at the lighthouse. Let's talk to the lighthouse keeper. Let's look around the grounds first. We can turn the map a little bit, but not the whole way. All right, nothing really super interesting. Oh, all right, let's just talk to this guy. Here he is. Hmm, what to do, what to do. I wouldn't feel right leaving the lighthouse unattended to go get help. But on the other hand, I can't very well leave things as they are either. My, my, who do we have here? What brings you to the Varen Lighthouse? Are you by chance the lighthouse keeper, Vogt? Oh ho, I certainly am. The emblem on your chest wouldn't happen to be... Oh, that? Yeah, we're bracers. Junior bracers at any rate. Well, why didn't you say so earlier? Y'all should rush the assistance of an auctionarian in need, not pretend like you didn't notice his forlorn expression. Er, what? What are you talking about, old man? Why didn't you say anything to us? Because you didn't ask. Shouldn't the first words out of your mouth as a bracers be something like, Are you in need of any assistance, my elderly friend? I tell ya, young bracers these days are all fight, no case. Where's the love? Where's the compassion? Y'all are worlds apart from that manly bracer I worked with before. Now that was a bracer y'all could set your clocks by, your seer. I reckon that was seven years ago, eight perhaps, however long ago it was. He was better than you two. Uh, well, I can't tell you how much I'm simply loving this abusive lecture of yours. You were saying something about needing assistance? He really is just as the factory owner said. I was? Oh, right, 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 right. Yes, dire need, dire need indeed. You see, I was out cutting the grass earlier and silly me, I forgot to shut the door when I left. And wouldn't you know it, by the time I got back, there were monsters. Monsters all over the place. And with monsters skittering about, I daren't go back in there. I'm not that crazy. So before we hand over the maintenance kit, you want us to do some good old fashioned monster smashing? Is that the gist? I think that's pretty much goes without saying, doesn't it? Maintenance kit, what in blazes are you talking about? That's why we're here. We've come in response to a request to deliver a maintenance kit to the lighthouse. But clearly there are bigger concerns at the moment. Indeed, it's just as you say. You can't exactly do any inspections if it's not safe in there. Do you have any idea how many of them there are? Not in the slightest. All I know is it's not just one, so be on your guard and don't die. Don't you worry, bracers never say die. I do have to wonder though why monsters would wander into a lighthouse. Probably drawn to the septum. The light is produced by a particularly large orbit, as you might imagine. Spot on, whippersnapper. When this happened before, the monsters were all gathered together at the top. Oh, well, that makes sense. Well, if it makes sense, then get going, girl. Use that brutish body of yours and show those monsters what's what. Alright, we'll help the old man. You bet. Let's do it to it. It's almost inspection time, so please take care of these these things as quickly as you can, okay? And make sure you don't let your guard down, as those things are pretty nimble. Understood. I'm ready. Let's do this thing. Alright, we gotta defeat all the monsters here in the lighthouse. Here's our first one we have to fight. It's like the hammerheads that we fought before, but these ones are red. This is a red hammerhead. How, how ironically named. You ever wonder why these fish weren't in the water? A lot of land sea creatures in this game for a game that doesn't have a whole lot of water related uh, areas except for where we're at now. But even then, it's not like we're in the water, which kind of by the water. It's not like there's a water temple. This isn't like, you know, Zelda or something. Alright, we're almost done with this fight, these hammerheads. We're not 
too tough. About as tough as the other hammerheads. Plenty to go. Things have been going a little bit better, I think, since we uh, changed up Joshua's orb mints. We got a uh, kibbled salt. Whatever that means. All right, let's go upstairs. There's more monsters to be fought. Another one here. Joshua, why do you keep missing? <clears throat> All right, defeated the second group of hammerheads. Let's go up to the next floor. Uh, nothing here. I haven't decided if I'm going to skip any of these monster fights or not, but I think I probably won't. Just because they don't take too long. And I bet you're wondering, how come some fights you skip and some fights you don't? Well, that's because I skip the ones that have no significance. If there's no new enemies and the fight doesn't really... Uh, mean anything then I'll just skip it but if it's like a, like a chest monster or a monster that we have to fight like these hammerheads I'll show it or at least show part of it like if it's really long I'll probably cut it down as you've already seen but if it's like a short fight I'll probably just keep the whole thing just depends on the type of fight if it's relevant or not to the actual game or what we're trying to do at the moment if it's just a random encounter most likely I'll just skip it if it's not a random encounter I might only skip part of it or none of it like I know in an episode or two ago we uh, fought a bunch of robber trappers and I didn't really skip any of those fights just because they weren't too long. We're good to go. Fish fillet and kill salt again. I, mean, I probably could have but you know whatever. I think some fights are interesting to watch but I won't want to do too many because then I'll just get redundant. And don't mind me, I'm just, just trying to fill in the dead space. Dead space, that's a different game. Trying to fill in the dead air. Uh, that's just that's the reason why I'm just talking nonsense right now. Just because I don't really have anything significant to say. And I don't really want it to be completely quiet either. So you can just listen to me ramble on. Or put me on mute, I really don't care. Until uh, we get somewhere more significant. But, you know, up until this point, everything in this game has been pretty... Uh, self-explanatory. I haven't really had to go into a whole lot of detail about things. The characters really seem to, to go over all the details just to really make sure you understand what's going on, which is kind of nice. I mean, basically up until this point, all we've been doing is just trying to uh, become senior bracers and find dad, and we have these little, uh, little uh, crimes and and big things going on in each city. Each city has like a little individual story going on. Um, there's no like really significant big 
a uh, boss or someone trying to take over the world or anything. Let's move out. Joshua, learn, taunt. We're all right. And we got kibble salt, fish fillet. Nice. Next. Defeated all the monsters. All right, that's good. Let's go up to the top, though, real quick and see if there's anything up there. All right. Nothing really too interesting up here. Oh, what's out here? Didn't mean to do that. Right. Oh, okay. Well, we were on that platform. I thought we were up there. Danger, unauthorized personnel prohibited. So we can't actually go up to the light. Um, all right, so I gotta kind of like... All right, let's go back down now and talk to old man Vokt or however you pronounce his name. It, it's, I don't know. I'm so bad at pronouncing names, which you already know. It's you know, V-O-G-T, Vogt. It's, I think it would be Vogt, but I really don't know. I'm I'm so bad with names and places of things, but whatever. How did the monster busting go? Heh, <laughs> stick a fork in it, old man, because this job is done. The monsters have all been taken care of. Everything should be back to normal in there now. Oh my, that's splendid news. At long last, I can hold the maintenance kit in my hands, use its contents to make this lighthouse, nay, this world, a better place. So what are we waiting for? If it's safe now, then let's get inside, shall we? Let's. All right, we're back at the top floor. Man, feels like I haven't been here in ages. What? Weren't you just here cutting the grass and then you got locked out because the monsters went inside? We haven't been here in ages. Well, it's probably been a couple hours at most. I think we should get our work finished ahead of time, Estelle. Early bird catches the worm, right? Something like that, yeah. Salutations. I come on behalf of the Bracers Guild bringing a package for you. It's a little heavy, though, so be careful lifting it. Hands over the maintenance kit. Yep, everything's here, all right. I appreciate you bringing this all the way over here. Oh, no worries. It's our job, after all. Oh, on another note, we actually have something else for you. Oh? Here you are, sir. It was entrusted to our care by Primo from Laventhar. Hand it over Azealia Rose. Oh, my, my, my. It's Azealia Rose. I used to drink these all the time while munching on things covered in anchovies. Now sand over the salted anchovies. Ha ha! I've got one of those for you too. Hand it over salted anchovies. Oh oh! You've even brought me some munchies to go with it. What thoughtful bracers you are! Man, this takes me back. How are Primo and the others? Are they doing well? You bet. They're all worried about you too, Gramps. Work must be tough, so take care of yourself, okay? Don't overexert those old bones of yours. I, uh, won't. Well, blunt or no, thank you for the concern. I value that even more than the anchovies. You strain to understand what it means to possess a caring soul. Uh, nope, not really. I'm no good with those touchy-feely concepts, I guess. And here I thought you'd grown up a bit. Ah, well... I guess you are still got a ways to go before you can match the level of that bracer. Actually, I'd like to hear more about him. What kind of bracer was he? If the stories I've heard are true, he was quite an amazing man. He was a great help to me seven or eight years ago, but sadly, I can't even remember his name anymore. I bet it was Cassius. He was a hell of a man, though. No offense, but he made you guys look like crap by comparison. Though, there is a bit of a resemblance, actually. He had reddish-brown hair, just like yours. In fact, even your eyes have the same basic hue. Reddish-brown hair and the same color eyes as Estelle. Could that bracer have been... I'm very much hoping you guys will raise to his level, given the time. Though I suspect I may be wishing for things that are never going to be. At any rate... Thanks for all your hard work, kids. He even brought me some personal items outside the normal scope of a bracer's duties. In fact, you know what? Wait right here for a moment, if you would. Wonder what he's gonna give us for all our extra work we did. 
That's what you get for going the extra mile, folks. I have something for you. Something I once used a long, long time ago. Consider it a thank you gift for being so kind to an old man like me. Save for that old bones comment, anyway. They're a little old, but like me, they'll still do the job. Sure as the day you were born. Received work helmet. Received gladiator headband. Whoa, awesome, thanks. You sure we can have these? Absolutely. Not like I'll be setting sail for a while at exotic lands again anytime soon. At any rate, I'd best get back to work. I've basically been playing hooky this whole time I've been talking. I stay here any longer, and somebody's bound to notice. Please take care of yourself. Take care, you old coot. Please excuse us. So are you thinking what I'm thinking, Joshua? Yeah, I couldn't help but read into it myself. Seven or eight years ago would be right on the money. The bracer to whom Vokt was comparing you, the uh, manly fellow, is it someone you know? Yeah, you could say that. I'm pretty sure he was talking about our dad. Oh, if that is who he was thinking about, though, then of course we're not going to measure up. Yeah, seriously. Though I guess we are bracers like him now, so it's kind of flattering in a way to be compared to him at all. If we want to make names for ourselves like him, though, we really have to take it one step at a time, catch up bit by bit, day by day. But even then, I think he's a little out of our league. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, maybe. But I can only believe that one day we'll totally outclass him. I mean, we pretty much rule. Ha ha ha, that's a very astellish thing to say. Heh, <laughs> thanks, I guess. Anyway, we'd best get going. This is no time to be horsing around. If we're going to become world-class bracers, we've got to get moving. You're absolutely right. Let's hit the road and see where it takes us. All right, we finished the lighthouse class. Uh, the delivery right on. Let's head back to the guild. And I think all we have left to do is go to Air Lantern. Back in town. I was actually wrong, though. We actually have three quests left to do. Um, we will still turn in and hand over the ones that we've done already. And the equipment that we got from the Lighthouse Keeper we'll hold on to for a little bit. I'm not going to use it right now. Um, but we will soon. Let's report real quick. Alright. Nice. Receive Strike Quartz as a perk. Much obliged. You appear to have achieved your goal without injury. If you complete any of the jobs, be sure to give me all the juicy details. Alright, so for this escort job, we're looking for someone here in Minoria, whose name is Amelia. Amelia of Minoria. I... Uh, not... I think this is her. Huh? Um, are all of you with the Bracers Guild? Yeah, we are. I guess you must be Miss Amelia. That's right. I've been waiting for you. The assignment said something about an escort mission. Guarding someone who said it into the mountains? Yes, that's right. I want you to protect my uncle. He's going through the Crone Trail. Hmm. Oh, he's traveling to Bose, right? No, not exactly. He wants specifically to go to the Crone Trail. Huh? How come? Why would anyone want to just go there? He said something about looking for some rare plants up there. I'm sorry, I didn't really know what he's talking about. Ah, uh, okay then. Well, I think we should ask him directly then. Indeed. Please wait a moment, I've already called him. This sounded a lot simpler when we saw it on the bulletin board. I have the feeling this isn't going to go well. Crown Trail is an extraordinarily dangerous place. I can't imagine anyone specifically wanting to go there. No kidding. We'll never know if we don't ask the man, though. Oh, looks like he's here. Huh? Where's your uncle? Well, it looks like he's already set out. What? Set out? For the Crone Trail, I assume. I think so, yes. And I'd asked him to at least wait until you showed up. I don't know what made him decide to just leave on his own like this. Hmm, that's not good. Not good at all. Why would he go there alone? It's like asking for a monster to eat you. It'll be even more dangerous in the dark. He should really be off the pass by sundown. I'm sorry. You come all this way for basically nothing. Oh, don't worry about us. We're fine. I'm really sorry. 
I'll have a word with my uncle as soon as he gets back. 